Hey, what's going on guys? Mike from the Retro Lectures. And if you're a collector like myself, you find yourself looking for information about games, about consoles. You'll need a source of great information right at your fingertips. Video game collecting is a passion of mine, much like many of you. Where do you turn to for information? Well, you're in luck. I have the top apps and top sites to use for information for collecting. Stay tuned. Video game collecting is a very big passion of mine. Much like many of you, we all have our own set collection that we're going for. A complete set or certain games that were big influences of our childhood. But a lot of these games have blown up in price. Now if you're like me who looks for a great deal in video games, where do you turn to? For one, great information and two, great prices. An app that I tend to use on a regular basis, an app that I like to use then stick to the prices as close as possible is puregaming.org. Puregaming.org is a site or an app that you can get on iOS devices for a simple fee of $2.99 to $5.49 Canadian. These apps are one of my favorite set of collection apps that I could use on the go whenever I want. When I was new into the game collecting, I didn't know where to turn to to find and correlate all my collection into one simple and clean looking device or application. I was trying so many different sites. When I came across puregaming.org, I found that they were the number one source for me personally, where I can get all my information at a fingertip and update it on the fly. I have a bunch of apps that I've already downloaded from Nintendo to Genesis to Xbox to Sega Dreamcast. These are the easiest ways for me to collect and correlate my collection. You can list it in alphabetical order, by rarity, by going price. It does PAL, North American and Japanese variants of the same game. And it does the PAL and Japanese releases of games that we never got here. The best sites to visit for collecting are as follows. Pricecharting.com, where you can get and enter any name of video game and it'll give you the price it's sold for on eBay, Amazon. It'll give you a listing of that price that it's going for right now. eBay is another great site where you could use and it's one of the oldest sites for buying anything online. eBay is my number one source for finding out on the fly an item what it's sold for, average price selling, and the rarity of this said game. eBay basically dictates the pricing of video games nowadays. From modern to retro, eBay is your number one source when it comes to pricing anything. All these other apps that I've already listed use eBay as a main source for listings. Now the problem with eBay is that a lot of people are using repros and ROMs and a whole bunch of different ways to scam the system. So therefore dropping the price of a game exponentially. Prime example is Clay Fighter Sculptor's Cut. On average, you could sell it for about $500 Canadian. And on eBay, it has listings for that, but you'll also see listings that are a lot less. And those listings could be ROMs, could be damaged labels, it could be just about anything. And eBay just puts that under one listing. And that's Clay Fighter Sculptor's Cut. And the problem with that is that this one game could be pristine and this one game could be ROMed and it still falls under the same category, therefore dropping the price of the rare game down because of the false listings. While using eBay, keep an eye open for a lot of listings and if the price is too good to be true, odds are it is. Amazon is another great site to use for buying games. I never really bought any games from Amazon. I try to stay away from Amazon for buying things because I find that their listings are a little bit too free as far as what can be listed and there's more opportunities for fake listings being on Amazon in my opinion. I just, I don't like to use Amazon personally, but it's a good reference point to start off. Racket Boy is another great site to look for any information on rarity of certain games and it has a great community to ask just about any question regarding any rarity of a game or any information about a said game. Reddit is another great source of information where a lot of people are listing and taking pictures of certain findings that they have and the Reddit sub forums will give them a, a lot of information and a lot of trolling along with that information, but it's a great source of information when you go to Reddit. A lot of people are straightforward. They don't sugarcoat any of the information that they're gonna give you. So if you're gonna be using Reddit, make sure to have a thick skin and try to not be offended by anybody's postings or listings. And a simple Google search. Google is your source for anything. If you have a phone, you could Google just about anything. 
So if you're ever seeing a game that looks to be a little bit too good for this price, odds are it is. So just make sure to do a Google search, open up if you're, the seller allows you to open it up, if they have the ability to open up the, the cartridge and see inside and you can do a quick Google search of what the chipsets are supposed to look like in that game. It's a trusting community we live in. If you don't know your information, be prepared to get scammed quite a lot. So these sites that I've just listed are your prime sites to use when buying or looking up video games and video game information. Let me know what you guys think. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know which sites you guys use or any sites that I haven't listed down below. Thanks guys.